That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. It seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. I gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's a moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pop. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king? What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. This is very interesting. I was not expecting to get to play as John. But I guess we get to see everything that leads up to Red Dead Redemption 1. Well, boys, it continues. I got that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Oh, yeah. John never actually came to Strawberry in the main game, did he? It was just me and Micah. Well, Arthur and Micah. Interesting. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or... Polishing some rich fella's boots or some such? Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Okay. How you doing, friend? Hey. Oh, I thought I was supposed to talk to this guy. I gotta go inside, don't I? Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. Mm. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy. We was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh... Well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Oh, that's how you get a job back in these days? <laughs> Interesting. 
No resume is needed. What do we got? Nothing but a lantern. Okay. Do I still have all my normal items from the main game? Yeah. Interesting. It'll be real interesting to see what kind of life John lives. Hello. Hello. Where is she? Is she up here? Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Aww, that touchy-feely stuff. <laughs> this is a new interesting approach to this game. Let's see if we can go a day without shooting anybody. I'm still just kind of upset about how the game ended with Arthur. I'm just so upset. Loaded up pretty good, Milton. Good. Now you ride slow now. Yetis don't want as good as damage. Of course. Alright, so I'm an errand boy, guys. Next stop, Pronghorn Ranch. <laughs> easy, easy. West past Owen Chila, then follow the road north. Okay. Never liked using these wagons. There's one bad turn and everything just flips over. And I like to go really fast so I can get to where I need to go. Easy, easy, easy. my old horse. I'm just so sad. I'm gonna have to find a new horse. If I knew the horse that I was riding was gonna die. Yeah, I'm not built for this life. Anyways, I would have rode one of my worst horse. But I don't think you get to keep anything from the main game besides just your items. I don't even think I have the same amount of money. I'll have to check. Hopefully the payout for doing this is pretty decent and I can buy some new guns. But I don't think this is gonna be much of a shooter. I feel like after what happened with uh, Arthur, we're not gonna see much action for a little while. Then again, this is a few years later, right? So who knows? Arrived, gentlemen. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm well, Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> you come back here. Take that horse if you need it. Go easy on him. You can't have trouble here. That's my damn wagon. You ain't getting away with that. Oh, okay. Hey, there they are. Woo! Woo! Really? I thought they were set to block it. Okay, so I guess we gotta jump onto it. Come on. Be useful, horse. And we can't shoot them, right? So that kinda sucks. Fine, we'll jump onto the back and just beat their asses. Come back here! Boss man's so rich, he don't need this stuff. Damn it. This is your last chance to come out of this breathing. Get on with you. No, whoa, whoa. You can't take the joke, mister. Tell Gaddy to take that offer off Mr. Abel, but we get a whole lot more money. <laughs> what the hell? Lucky. beat the crap out of all of them but I don't want to ruin this mission maybe they'll hire me since I saved their uh, supplies oh they were literally just riding around in a circle thank you Milton isn't it those boys are out of Laramie work for Mr. Abel thank you don't mention it listen I ain't looking for no charity or nothing but I was serious you got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. <laughs> but we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no. You stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. All right. So you got a permanent job, a place to stay? Nice. No more sleeping outside.
Oh, nice. We got a silver. Not a gold, but a silver. Let's see what we could have done better. Oh, we claimed the wagon in one minute. Ah, that was so easy. I could have done that too. Will we do it? Oh, nice. Okay. So we're going to have to buy a new horse. Boys, we're going to wrap this thing up right here, man. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again. It's going to be a little bit different playing with John instead of Arthur. Still kind of sad about it. But we knew. We knew what was going to happen ultimately, right? So that makes it a little bit easier to bear. Still going to miss him. Arthur's my guy, man. Anyways, boys, thank you so much for joining me. And I will catch up with you guys in the next one.